Yo, what is good, man? You know, I waited a little minute because I wanted to have the perfect build before I dropped this. Not perfect, just a really good build before I dropped this, man. That was a really good power forward. I understand a lot of people are making the 6'7 guy. I'm not doing that, man. As y'all can see in the thumbnail, this is the best AD build in my opinion. And I'm also going to go through the badges and reasons why I would equip these badges, you know, further on in the video. But do me a favor, before we get started into the video, you know what I need. I need that like and subscribe, man. And in other news, um, this is me. I'm practicing, playing on a park because I'm trying to bring a lot more park gameplay. I want to be able to make those builds without a free throw just so, you know, I can give you guys more park gameplay. And uh, um, I'm starting to get my get my squad together as far as being able to run threes. So that will be on the way very shortly. Part gameplay on the way. I'm probably going to end up doing it with this build that I'm making right now. Because I just feel like this build is pretty good. And it's taller than those six, seven guys they make. So, you know, that is what it is. But all right, man, we can go ahead and get into this video. We're going to make the player... 6-9. And I, I like the height 6-9, man, just because it's, it's a little bit bigger than usual. Uh, with the way we are going to drop that sum to 230 wingspan, we're going to keep that default. I'm going to build just so it kind of looks like AD. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying AD is huge, but, you know, pretty decent sized guy. Not frail or anything. That's why I didn't go with slight and burly. I just, I don't know, man. That looks a little weird sometimes. I like it on centers because it makes you look bigger than the other little scrawny centers that be out there, those 6'9 guys. So as we get into um, the finishing, you want to have those 21 finishing badges. And you know, if this is going to be an AD build, you're going to have to, you have to put a little bit into that shooting, man. And I went 82 straight down. Nice and easy numbers. 82 all the way down on shooting that will get you 16 badges and with playmaking i know y'all gonna think i'm tripping but with playmaking i was trying to you know mess around with it and see if i could get a higher number of badges if i win another row but i'm end up going back to it and fixing it after the defense so we can go ahead and talk about defense man um yeah, this build is really, truly, just going to be a lockdown, to be honest. This is going to be the, the player that can guard everybody else on the, other, on the opposing team, you know what I'm saying? That's what this build is made to do, and that's just like AD in real life. You know, he can play defense and defend anybody on the other team, and that's, and that's fact. Just think about it, man. In the finals... He was playing Jimmy Butler, bro. Like, come on. And he was doing a decent job at it. So, in order to make this build exactly like AD, I did have to go a little heavy on the defense. And, you know, I tried to fool around with the playmaking, but I ended up just, you know, saying bump pass accuracy all together. Because, honestly, with this build, if you get the ball, you're not, you're not really focused on passing the ball this is a bucket this build is a bucket when you get the ball it's time to put that thing in the goal there is no well let me see if i can no this build is a bucket so as soon as you get the ball you can go ahead and take that thing the only time you might have to pass the ball is if you get a rebound and hopefully your guards have enough iq to come back to you to get the ball because you know you don't have any pass accuracy uh, physicals, we never leave that alone. You know what I'm saying? Speed, we get as much as we can. That's why we took the weight down. Strength, acceleration. We we don't need we don't leave anything blank. Not on this build. This build is a complete build, minus you know obviously the pass accuracy. But like I said, when you get the ball, this this build is a bucket. This might be one of those builds that you can take into the park with randoms. I haven't played with randoms yet in the park. 
I'm hoping they're better than randoms in the wreck, but I guess I'll be finding out shortly. All right, with the takeovers, man, because I want this dude to be AD, spot up precision. That's that's easy. But you remember, he was almost defensive player of the year, so I gotta go with a rim take, and I'm gonna go with pain intimidation, just because I don't want to be down there getting bullied. I don't want that to happen. I want people to, when they're down there, they have to respect that I'm there. And it gave me an interior force. You see that? The number one thing it's like, Anthony Davis, man. You came to this video to see an Anthony Davis build, and I gave you an Anthony Davis build. But anyway, we're about to get into those badges. So starting with the finisher badges, we have plenty of them. With 21 finisher badges, man, that is more than enough. But with this build, you kind of got to decide what you want to do. Like, I'm making this to be the perfect park three. You know what I'm saying? Be the perfect park big man. Pretty much doing everything I need you to do off ball. Just being somebody that can't be left open. Like, they can't play too close. They can't play too far back. And Heat Seeker, I definitely had to put that on there just because I want something to help me get my takeover a little bit faster. For the last bronze badge, actually, no. So, but before that, I needed to, see, you see me, like, going around. I had too many badges. I had 21. You don't need that many. You don't need that many at all, but I wanted to make the build true to Anthony Davis. So this is my badge lineup. This is how I went. You know, I went with two things to help me get take over a little bit faster. Even with shooting, I felt like 16 badges was more than enough. And I'm making this one so that I'm able to be somewhere other than the corner. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, when this build gets the ball, it's, it's time to get a bucket because this build is made for that specifically. So obviously, you need catch and shoot because you're playing off ball. Deep threes, must have. Hot zone, must have. Dead eye, eh, that's debatable. You can go blinders if you wanted to instead of dead eye and then put something on maybe stop and pop, you know. You could do corner specialist. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not needed to have dead eye if you can get a better, a better badge. And for playmaking badges, you know what I'm saying? I'm, dude isn't like blindly quick, but you still want it. A quick first step, I'm gonna put that on gold. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get unpluckable on bronze. Just cause, you know, I'd rather have the badge. Just because a lot of people, they don't have steel, but I still don't wanna be in a bad situation. And now we get to my favorite part of every build. The defense, man, defense wins games. Defense wins championships, as I'm sure everybody knows, man. Can't be a good player without solid defense. So, since I said I'm gonna be using this mostly for park, I'm gonna show y'all my park badge setup first. This is how I would do it for the park, man. I'm gonna go with, with a bunch of gold badges just to make them, you know, versatile so I can guard everybody. Obviously, ankle breakers from out on the perimeter. I need that. I'm gonna guard the other team's best ball handler. Rebound chaser, rim protector, clamps, and interceptor, just in case I'm playing off ball because love interceptor. Chase down artist on gold. I'm telling you, this is, the, this is the lockdown that people need on their team. And I'm going to make one. So if you need one on your team, I'll let your boy. I'm going to be there. This build can be also used in the rec. You know, the only, like I said, the only downside is you can't be the primary rebounder because those outlet passes are going to be kind of difficult considering that you don't have playmaking badges for that. Like, you don't have pass accuracy. And it, but this is the bad setup I would run with in the rec. You know what I'm saying? I would just take those three off uh, off of uh, ankle braces, put on a rebound, chase the rim protector, chase down. Or you could run it like this in the park also. Intimidator, ankle braces on bronze. I don't know how bad the ankle breakers are this year. But when I do find out, that's how I would adjust that badge. But yeah, man, that's pretty much it for this build. I'm going to go ahead and start wrapping the video up right now. You know what I'm saying? But this is my Anthony Davis build, man. I think this build is going to be crazy. I'm going to make this build and I'm going to show y'all some gameplay on it as soon as the build is done. I mean, I might might even show y'all some little little warehouse challenges that I do. But
gonna go ahead and head out, man. Please like and subscribe. Like the video if you like the video. Subscribe if you wanna get more. I plan on doing more player specific builds. You know, I've been finding a lot on YouTube. And I just wanna share them with my subs just in case y'all aren't seeing them other places. But it's your boy Don, and I'm out of here, man.